I'm pretty sure I did this one in NHL 20, or it was 19, one or the other. I believe I did it in 19, no, or 20, sorry. <laughs> what a way to start. But yes, I'm going to be doing the name chain draft. So basically, what that consists of is I will be picking a player to start, and then after that, I have to continuously chain the name so that the last letter of the person I drafted has to be the first letter of the next person I draft. And it's just last name, by the way. So for example, if I drafted Barkov, then I would have to take a player whose last name starts with V next. I also got a comment asking me to use Toronto in a video soon. So yeah, I actually, I think I saw this comment a while ago, so it's probably going to be way delayed, but yeah, I feel like I actually haven't used Toronto in a long time, so let's do it. I'm so confused. I don't see Fantasy Draft anywhere. Like, is am I missing something? I'm... <laughs> what is going on? Do I forget how to do a Fantasy Draft? Like, wh what's happening? I know why I have figured it out. It's because I did this. And for some reason, as soon as there's 32 teams, the game's like... You can't do a fantasy draft. What? There it is. There's the option I was looking for. Okay, we got pick number seven. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh well, we should get a very solid player then, and let's see who will be available at pick number seven. Ovechkin and Crosby just went. We got Pasta and Huberdeau, who is an absolute machine. I'm trying to do this strategically, so my best bet might actually be Pasternak. All right, Pasta's our first pick, and now we have to wait a while for another pick, so a lot of the players that I was hoping would probably still- Oh, EK65 is still here. All right, that's probably who I'm going to pick then. And then we will have to go with the letter N, which could be tricky. I'm trying to think. The only one that's coming to my head... Oh, Nugent Hopkins. We also got Nylander, who is a potential player. But maybe I'll just take Nuge, because he's 86 overall. Yeah, there's Will Nye. We already have a right winger, so I think Nugent Hopkins. And that'd be an S, which isn't so bad. So yeah, that's, that's a good pick. We got Suter there. I'm trying to think of any goalies. Is there any goalies that have an S? I don't really think... Oh, we could have taken Kemper as well. Or Hudobin for K as well. Corby Solo. There's... You see what I see. Soros. So that's an option. But probably better off taking a player for now. Okay, I gotta go too far down. Subin is the next best. So I think I will just take Suter at this point. Then we got the letter R, which also is not so bad. Could take Radulov. The Warthog as... RA calls him. I wonder if Varlamov is still available, because if we take Radulov, hopefully Varlamov would still be there. It's risky, but I'm going to try it. Oh, or should I just take Ranta now? And then we got A instead of Radulov. Oh, that's tough. No, nah, I'm going to go for Varlamov. Screw it. I'm going to go for Varlamov. Let's take Radulov and then go with Varlamov. Still be there, still be there, still be there. Yes, he's at the very top. It's like it was meant to be. All right, so we're gonna have the letter V again here. Uh, could be okay. Vlasic, and then we get the letter C. I'm just completely disregarding the cap, by the way. I don't know why I didn't turn it off. Ooh, we could take Vlasic and then maybe get Sorelli. That's an option, so let's, let's maybe try that out. Ooh, we could also take Chara and then get an A, but... Ooh. No, I think I'd rather take Sorelli. We only got one center right now. If he's still here... He better still be here. I'm going to be very upset. He's gone, isn't he? He's going to be gone. He's gone. 100%. Oh, he is actually gone. I was just saying that to say that, but he is actually gone. <laughs> oh boy, that's not good. So I could take Chara, but I'm instead going to take Coil because we need a center. <laughs> so yeah, we also have no left wingers so far. This is going to be an interesting team. Edler, and then we get R, or we could take Eberly, and then we have E again. We already have two right wingers though. So we got two options there, though. Lars Eller is also here. Uh, okay, all right. Time to make a decision. I'm going to take Edler for now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have the letter R again now. Let's see what we can do with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we can take Bobby Ryan. Guy's been an absolute unit so far this year. I mean, I, I don't know if that'll be reflected in this game, but... I'm going to take him anyway. Let's go, Bobby. There's actually still lots of goalies left, which is nice. And I might have to take Gustav Nyquist here. We definitely have to play some right wingers on the left side. But yeah, there's an option because Ryan. So yeah, Nyquist works. Then we get the letter T. So that sh Okay. Ooh, Jumbo Joe. We would have the letter N once more here next if we take Jumbo. Or we could take Tierney and get the letter Y. Uh... 
Is there any good options for the letter Y? The only player that really came to mind was Yandel, and he is absolutely not here anymore. I'm gonna take Thornton just because, yeah, there's like no good last names that start with Y that I can find here. And we still have not drafted a single left winger. We could take Nichushkin, but then we get the letter N again, and I've already had to come all the way down here, so I'm gonna try to avoid that. Nemesnikov, then we get a left winger, and we get the letter V. So that seems like a good option. Okay, I'm gonna take Nemesnikov, and then we could maybe get VC, but then again, that's gonna be a Y, which I don't know if we're gonna have any luck with that one. Oh man, we could have taken Nilsson. Oh, but that's gonna be, again, starts with N and ends with N, so that, yeah. Oh, Trevor Van Riemsdyk. I don't know if we'll have any luck with the letter K, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I wonder how bad our chemistry is gonna be. I guess we're gonna find out. Kovalchuk, and then if we get another, it'd be, yeah, K once more. Well, that might not be a bad option, depending. If we can find Koskinen as a backup goalie, but then we get the letter N again. Oh, man, I'm gonna take Kovi. Screw it. We'll see what happens from there. Oh, we could also take Koivu, and then we just gotta find someone with the letter U, which could be very difficult, actually. Oh, man. You know what? I think I'm gonna finish off our defensive core here with Brett Kulak, and then I'm going to hope that Koskinen is still there. We will have our backup goalie, and then yeah, we just have forwards to go. Goalies, come on! He's gone. Oh, that is a big rip in the chat, but we could take Kincaid, 81 overall, and then we get the letter D, which I, I don't know, I don't think we've used that one really even in the other video, but that's could be interesting. So really, we either want a center or a left winger, but again, if we have to take, you know, a, a right winger and play them on the left side or center, that's not the end of the world. Okay, I'm starting to think this was not a good idea. There's Dubinsky, but uh, that, that Y is going to be killer. Christian Juice! No! He's a defenseman! Oh, dude, that is so unfortunate. That would have been a great one. Ooh, Dal Cole. All right. Oh, he's a sniper. Oh my, our whole team's gonna be snipers. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. Dal Cole, sure. And then, ooh, we got Cody Eakin down there as well. He could be a next pick, perhaps. Oh, we also could have taken Dowd, but yeah, that I guess would give us same letter again. Okay, we're gonna pick up Eakin, and then we just need one more forward, basically, and we're good to go. James the Real Deal Neil. How are we actually somehow decent for cap space anyway? Yeah, here we go. James the real deal, baby. That will complete our draft. I think I would consider that a success. I'm pretty sure. So here's the screen. It's probably going to go away in a second, but I guess just to kind of confirm, I'm kind of running through it right now. It looks good so far. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. No name chain screw ups. I'm pretty sure this is all the forwards we drafted. So this looks good and it's plus ones all around. That's great. I'll definitely take that. I believe this is all the defensemen we drafted as well, which all gets plus ones, and then Varlamov and Kincaid. I'm just gonna double check. I think we're good, so... Here is the lineup for the Toronto name chain draft. We've got Radulov, Nuge, and Pasternak on the first line. Nyquist, Jumbo, and Kovalchuk on the second line. Nemesnikov, Charlie Coyle, and Bobby Ryan as the third line. Neil... Eakin and Cole as our fourth line. I'm just curious. Will this screw up the... Okay, I'm not doing it then. Defense, we've got Suter and Carlson, Kulak and Vlasic, Edler and Van Riemsdyk. And then in the net, we've got Varlamov and Kincaid. I think our team's not bad. As usual, I will throw out some predictions. So I'm going to say that Pasta gets the most points with 89. And our team gets... Let's say 40... 46 wins. Okay, so we're not off to the hottest start here, but you know lots of hockey left also At this very moment when I'm recording this video So I guess you guys will know when I'm recording this now line a for Dubois was just announced. So Who do you think won that trade? I guess Roslovich is also headed to the Blue Jackets and a third is headed over to Winnipeg. All right update. We actually suck. All right. The comeback is real We're actually doing okay now I'm down. So yeah, the official trade is Patrick Laine and Jack Roslovich from Winnipeg over to Columbus in exchange for Pierre-Luc Dubois and a third. I kind of want to say that Winnipeg won that trade, actually. I, for some reason, feel like Laine is going to end up wanting to get out of Columbus after this. I mean, I don't know why he wanted out of Winnipeg. It could be a 
magnitude of reasons really but i don't know i guess we'll see what happens but yeah I, that's a that's a pretty big trade i can't remember i think i said 40 it was 46 or 47 i can't remember which one it was however we have the post trade deadline blues as this game loves to do i don't know why that is but after the trade deadline it's just a flurry of losses almost every time and then you miss the playoffs because of reasons okay we did end up making the playoffs i'm gonna stop that simulation there and we can go have a look at the stats here so we finished with 47 wins nugent hopkins with the most points at 71. That's a little shocking to me. We did end up finishing first here in the Atlantic Division with 100 points. So that little end there to the season was nice. We ended up having quite a few wins. I don't know what it is, but with these headphones on, it feels like I'm not pronouncing things properly. So am I like, <laughs> am I gonna go back and edit this now and just be like, what the heck was I doing? Or anyway, the Avalanche with 108 points and 50 wins are your president's trophy winners. And yeah, shockingly, Nugent Hopkins, 71 points, the most on the team. Pasternak with 69, nice. Carlson with 67, attaboy. Gus, 57. Let's check who led the league here, entire league. McDavid. Back on the Oilers with 100. Line A, who is now with Columbus, 97. Kuznetsov, 94. McKinnon, 92. All right. Okay, cool, cool. Stammy back on the Lightning. Well, let's see how we can do in the playoffs here. My guess is probably not very well, but no. Let's go here, Toronto. We are up 2-1 right now in round number one. 2-2. Two, 2-3. Two. Two, okay, I, I was actually just about to say 2-3. I really was about to say that. The Colorado Avalanche, who won the President's Trophy, got first rounded. Classic. And who is going to be the Stanley Cup champion? Will it be Minnesota or will it be the Tampa Bay Lightning? It's gonna be the Lightning. Great. So even in fantasy drafts, they're amazing. Kovalchuk put up six points in our six playoff game. So thank you, Ilya. But let's go check out the player stats. I want to see who was on the Stanley Cup winning Tampa Bay Lightning. And I'll also check out the Avalanche. So yeah, they had Stamkos. We saw that. Bailey... Jaden Schwartz, Evander Kane, Zabenejad, Brody, Spurgeon, Gaudet, Lee, Hosang, Shiri, Fabry. Okay, the eh, their team's not that great, really. But they had Vasilevs. Are they just picking their own players? Like, what the heck is this? Anyway, let's check out Colorado here. They had Patty Kane. They had Krejci, Lafreniere, who's up to 86 overall. Wait, is he still in 82 in this game? And then he just got jumped up that much by having a good year or what? Either way, Oshie, they had Timothy, Jimothy, they had Cam Atkinson, Monahan. Okay, they had a really good team. No wonder they won. How'd they get first rounded? What the heck? Who's their goalie? Uh, Ranta? Uh, I don't know. They have a really, really solid team. All right, well, here be the awards. We basically know everything for team awards and the individual trophies. Did the Toronto Maple Leafs win anything? No. No, we did not. Here is the playoff tree. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that name change draft. That one's always interesting and pretty difficult. But you know what? We pulled it off. We made the playoffs and we had a pretty decent team. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you later.